how powerful can a civilization become? The Kardashev scale measures just that, and right now, humans aren't even on the first level. Back in 1964, Soviet astronomer Nikolai Kardashev created a scale to rank civilizations by their energy use. The more energy a civilization harnesses, the more advanced it becomes. And it starts with Type 1. A Type 1 civilization can harness all the energy available on its home planet. Wind, solar, ocean waves, even hurricanes. That's about 10 quadrillion watts of power. Humans? We're at about 0 0.7, still burning fossil fuels like slightly advanced cavemen. Experts say it could take 100 to 200 years to reach Type 1. If we don't destroy ourselves first, Type 2 civilizations don't just use their planet's energy, they control their entire star. This means building something like a Dyson Sphere, a megastructure that surrounds a star and captures all its energy, 10 octillion watts of pure power. With that kind of energy, we could terraform Mars, power entire planets, and maybe even make ourselves immortal. Type 3? Now we're talking galactic empires. A civilization that controls the energy of every star in its galaxy. That's ten duodecillion watts of power. They could move planets, manipulate black holes, and travel between galaxies like we cross the street. To them, humans would be like insects, too primitive to even notice. But here's the real question. If Type three civilizations exist, where are they? The universe is 13.8 billion years old. Some species should have reached this level by now. So why don't we see them? Are we truly alone? Or are we just too primitive to see what's really out there? Follow for more mind-blowing science. In our next video, we'll be talking about what Type 4 and Type 5 civilizations might look like. And it's insane.